sizing of conductors primarily um, is dictated in section. Uh, so if, you, if you're looking at your at your NEC code, and by the way, you can you can look up the NEC um, for free on nfpa.org forward slash free access. They make it a little tricky, so you got to go down to NFP seven NFPA seventy, which is the National Electrical Code. Um, pick the whatever version you're looking at. And then you can pull up a free version. You have to sign in, and, and you can't copy anything, but you can at least reference the code. And so, if you want to look this up for yourself, it's uh, three ten period or dot. I'll just say dot three ten dot one five b sixteen. So if you look up that, that that's actually a table, and that table it formerly was known by three ten dot sixteen. I'm looking at the twenty seventeen code, um, which is largely not even in. It's not even in use in most places. Most places are still using the 2014 code. And so I'm using the 2017 code so that we're prepared for the future, basically, here, just making sure that there's no questions about what particular um, version of the code I'm looking at. And also, just so you don't get bored here, there's a reason why I'm doing this. There's a reason why I'm pointing to the specifics, because if I don't point to the specifics, if you've had in your head that it works a different way, then you're going to want to think that I haven't done my research on this, but I want to just illustrate here briefly that the research has been done. And I'm not saying that I'm immune from making mistakes in this, but I'm going to try to stick to the very basics, the stuff that, that really matters and not get too off into the weeds. And so most of what I'm saying here should be pretty ironclad. So if you go to 310.15b16, this gives you the actual um, temperature rating of different conductors and the sizes, the impacities that can be um, that can be run on those. So the amperages that can be run on these conductors. So as an example, if you look at, we'll use a common one. We'll look at number ten wire. So number ten wire at sixty degrees Celsius, which is one hundred and forty degrees Fahrenheit, insulation rating on a wire is rated at thirty amps. So that's what we typically hear. We hear number ten is thirty amps. Period. Right. Well, not quite. Because when you go to 75 degrees Celsius, which is 167 degree insulation rating, it's rated for 35 amps. That's actually the more common type of wire that's used. That's THHW, THHN uh, are in that are in that rating. And actually, some of them, some THHNs and THHWs are actually rated at a higher rating than that. But that's what you're going to see commonly. And this is copper conductors. So some THHN wire is actually rated at 90 degree uh, Celsius. And some of this. Again, I don't. I'm not regularly looking at the wire that that we have on our truck as far as the temperature rating. But if you want to, you just grab a roll of wire off the truck or, or look at one in an electrical supply house, and you'll see these ratings listed on there. And so the question is, why do we often say that it's so? So just to just to clarify, so number ten wire at 60 degrees Celsius insulation, it's 30. At 75 degrees, 35. And at 90 degree, it's 40. But we often say that it's 30. Well, the reason why we often say that is because we're often talking about NM cable, which is non-metallic cable, otherwise known as, you know, the, the trade name would be Romex for that. And so this is the typical wiring that's used in a lot of modern houses. And NM has to be, the impacities have to stick with 60 degree Celsius as far as the, the overall impacity. There's some derating and things you can do at the 75 degree level, and I'm not going to go into that. But the, the basic residential wiring in a normal house for the lights and outlets in your house with NM, which is Romex, uh, is rated at 30, 30 amps for number 10 wire, 40 amps for number eight, 55 for number six, so on and so forth. So that's typically what we think of. But if you look at, so for example, number six, we think 55, but number six is actually 65 at the 75 degrees Celsius, um, THHN, THHW, um, and either 75 or 90 degrees Celsius. There are certain types of wire certain types of assemblies that can be rated at higher amperages than what we're used to saying in our sort of rule of thumb minimums that we that we speak of. Um, and, and so it really just depends on the application. So if you're using Romex and you're running it to a condenser, well, there's a problem there right away because Romex isn't rated to go inside of, say, a uh, Carflex whip or something like that. It's not, it's not rated for that. It can't go into what they call a damp environment. And a condenser is a damp environment. It's, it's running outside of the structure. And so in that damp environment, you're not supposed to have NM anyway. Um, so if you're using, you know, THHW, for example, that's rated at 75 degrees Celsius, then that, uh, that 30 amp breaker is okay to be at 35 amps. So, and I'm going to go into some more, because there's, there are some more considerations, I'm going to go into that, but I want to stop here. So this is something that's independent of the whole question of putting a larger breaker than the ampacity of the wire. That's, a, that's the next thing we're going to get into. But this is an independent thing, which is that often what we think a wire is rated at is not what the wire is rated at. And it can go either direction. 
So we can be we can go on the over conservative side where we believe a wire is not large enough when it actually indeed is large enough if you look at the insulation rating on the wire, or we could be grossly undersizing a wire because we don't understand all of the derating factors or the type of wire that it is, or we could be using Romex and M cable in a place that it's not rated for. And so there's all these different considerations, and and often um, we in the field we can we can be on both sides of the coin where we don't understand either of them, and we just think it's number ten wire is thirty amps, but it just it just isn't quite that simple. 